Welcome to Yogshala. Here you will have the opportunity to learn all there is to know about yoga. As you explore our ashram, you will come across some exceptional gurus to help you learn the philosophies and the practice of yoga. Guides are available to show you around the ashram. Your guide can tell you many things about Yogshala, including where to go, what there is to do, about the architecture and the decorations inside. Your guide will even take your desired destinations if you lose your way. We have four guides available to help you. Tara, that's me, Hannah, Kaba, and Arun. Go ahead and select one of us as your guide so you can start your journey into the world of yoga. Hi there, I'm Hannah. It would be my pleasure to show you around Yogshala. Would you like me to accompany you as your guide? Please let me know if you ever need my assistance. Hey, I'm Tara. I would be glad to show you around Yogshala. Would you like me to be your guide? Aw, uh, that's alright. Let me know if you change your mind. I will be waiting right here. Hey, I'm Arun. You seem to be new here. I can help you get familiar with Yogshala. Would you like me to be your guide? No worries. Just choose the guide you feel most comfortable with. Hey, I'm Kaba. I would be honored to help you explore Yogshala. Do you want me as your guide? I wish you luck in your journey through Yogshala. Hi there, I'm Hannah. It would be my pleasure to show you around Yogshala. Would you like me to accompany you as your guide? Very well. Let's begin our journey into Yogshala. Hi. I wish you all the luck for your yoga practice and I hope you'll enjoy yoga as much as I do. When first starting yoga, people often wonder how long it will take to see the benefits. But yoga is not about fast results and benefits like in a workout. The important point to remember is that you need to keep practicing your yoga and you automatically feel as good as I do when I practice. So, let's start together. This statue is representative of the practice of yoga. Yoga refers to traditional physical and mental disciplines originating in India. The word yoga has been derived from the Sanskrit root yuj, which means to unite, to control, or to join. There are many forms of yoga, including the Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Janana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, and Hatha Yoga. This is a painting of the Muladhara Chakra. The Muladhara Chakra is located at the base of the spine and is related to instinct, security and survival. This chakra is often associated with the element earth. The Muladhara Chakra is also known as the support or root chakra. All other chakras lie on top of this. The reasons why relaxation is such an important part of yoga are mentioned here. Relaxation is a way to clear your mind of everyday thoughts and distractions before getting ready for yoga. When you relax between a series of postures, it allows you to pause and re-energize before the next exercise. At the end of the yoga session, relaxing helps you to prepare for returning to everyday life. This painting portrays the triangle pose or trikonasana. The triangle pose builds strength in your lower back and upper legs and also stretches your hips and hamstrings. 
This exercise helps you in improving your sense of balance and coordination. Would you like to try the triangle pose? Welcome. I am here to help you through the triangle pose. Are you ready to begin? Stand erect with your feet together and arms by your sides. Now, separate the feet slightly further than shoulder width. Inhale and raise both arms straight out from the shoulders, parallel to the floor, with the palms facing down. Exhale slowly while turning the torso to the left, bend at the waist, and bring the right hand down to the left ankle. Place the palm of the right hand along the outside of the left ankle. The left arm should be extended upward. Turn the head upward to the left and gaze up at the fingertips of the left hand. Hold this position for the duration of the exhaled breath. Inhale and return to a standing position with the arms outstretched. Exhale and repeat the steps on the opposite side. This pose builds strength in your lower back and upper legs and also stretches your hips and hamstrings. Use caution performing triangle pose if you have lower back problems. Mirror my movements as we proceed.
Remember, don't push yourself. Hold the pose only as long as you feel comfortable. Good job! Goodbye! This book explains the origins of yoga. Between 1800 and 1500 BC, texts called the Upanishads came to being. They explain the concept of the transcendental self and its relation to the ultimate reality. The practice of yoga, which originated thousands of years ago in India, strives to unite the body, mind and spirit. Yoga trains a person to reunite personal consciousness with universal consciousness. Practicing yoga helps us to consciously and physically interconnect with all living beings. Would you like to go up to the next floor?